What's up, my beast fires? It's Beast Fire One here. Welcome back for more Gogo no Pond, the last day here in Japan. And I accidentally clicked, uh, skipped some text, so yeah, great weather again today. Hi, you're in the video. <laughs> uh, this is my last day to look around Japan. Akira said she'd take me out to Yokohama. Okay, let's make my last day here the best. Let us do that. Dun, 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 dun. I love this guitar. So, are you ready to head out? Ah, uh, yeah, completely. Okay, then let's start. <sighs> hmm? Akira, you look really sleepy. Are you okay? Ah, sorry. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Hmm? But you really don't look well. Do you do you think you might become down with something? If it's too much of a bother, you don't have to come with me today. <clears throat> what do you say? Are you saying you don't want to go with me? That's not it. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's not. It's not. It's just that if you're sick, I, I, I don't want. And that's why I said I'm fine and not to worry about it, right? That's true. But anyway, let's get going. We want as much time as possible to look around, right? This girl's very bipolar. Yeah, I know she said she's fine, but I wonder if that's true. This last week, she's gone out with me so often, done so much, and she just got back from Kyoto. I wonder if all activity is catching up with her. Dun, dun, dun. There she is in her jacket. By the way, do you know? Do you how much do you know about Yokohama? Mm, not very much, really. Not much. Well, to tell you the truth, until you asked me yesterday, you could say I didn't know anything about it at all. Hmm, I see. S sorry. You don't have to apologize. But it's like I lied to you. I told you not to worry about it. It means all my hard work wasn't in vain. Huh? Uh, nothing. Just talking to myself. I love the I love the McDonald upside down McDonald's one. Like the rip off McDonald's, I love those. Huh? Um, ah, speaking of which, you don't know where Yokohama is, do you? I <laughs> know, embarrassingly enough. It's next to Tokyo, it's a harbor town in Kanago Kanagawa Prefecture. Ah, so it's not in Tokyo. I guess it must be pretty far. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. It, it may be one prefecture over, you could still get there directly from a large station like Tokyo or Ikibukuro, and it doesn't take long at all. It can't be more than 30 minutes from either station. I see, I guess it would take a lot... It would take longer to go to places within Tokyo that require a lot of changing trains, huh? That's about right. Anyway, I'll see the detailed explanations... Detailed descriptions of Yokohama for after we get there. Okay. Let's go. $1,000 for a train ride. <laughs> well, here we are. This is Yokohama? Yes, this is one of the of Yokohama's most famous tourist spots, Harborview Park. Harborview Park. See, you can see the whole city from up here. Mm hmm. I wonder if we could see the Minato Mirai 21 from here. Minato Mirai. Um, it's an amusement park. It has Japan's tallest building, the Landmark Tower, and a big Ferris wheel called Yokohama Cosmo World. Anyway, it's kind of like the heart of Yokohama. It's strange. We should be able to see Yokohama Harbor. Ah, is that the harbor over there? Huh? See, there are boats docking. Ah, hey, you're right. That means the harbor that park overlooks. Oh, come on. What an annoying name. Akira? Ah, um, that's right. I haven't told you about Yokohama yet. This place, Yokohama, was an itty-bitty fishing village 150 years ago. Small, this place? Yeah, there were less than 100 houses here. It was that small. 100 houses? How did you get to be such a big city in such a short time. Well, because American ships came. American. America. Canada. Until then, Japan was in a period called the Sakoku, in which trade was with most countries was forbidden. But in 18... Um, yeah, 1863, an American named Admiral Perry came to Japan to open our borders. The Sakoku came to an end, and Yokohama was chosen as the vanguard of trade with other countries. In other words, it was a window to foreign trade? That's right. Afterward, Yokohama turned from a sleepy, bleh, sleepy fishing village to a town filled with cutting-edge foreign culture overnight. And within a mere 150 years, it became the huge city you see today. Wow. You could say that Japan's modernization began right here in Yokohama. When Yokohama became a foreign trade port, the whole area was designed to cater to foreigners. So they built a lot of western style buildings in this area, and it became a big tourist spot. Western style, huh? 
Yeah, anyway, as long as we're here, you want to look around? Yeah, I think so. Isn't that what we're here to do? It's sightseeing, after all. Um, this area is called the Yamatejiku in, Jap in Japanese. In English, you call it Yamate Burahu? Bur ah, I bet she means bluff. And because people from cons consulates from uh, European countries like England and France lived here, it, it became an upper class residential district. Let's see. See? Do you see all the adorable houses? Yeah, I see what you mean. I see the houses right behind where we're standing. There's no picture for that. <laughs> it really is strange having all the European style houses in the middle of Japanese town. But from our standpoint, I guess it doesn't seem to seem that strange at all. But right now, I'm more worried about... <sighs> How unwell Akira's been looking since this morning. She looks exhausted the whole time on the train. Hey, Akira, are you sure you're okay? Huh, I'm fine. What do you ask? It's just you look completely exhausted. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh... Hey, if you're really tired, you don't have to force yourself. I told you I'm fine. I'm not tired at all. I hope not, but... Anyway, let's get going to the next destination. Sure. Anyway, I'll just have... I'll have to just keep my eye on her. In more ways than one. Ah, here we are. This is... Chinatown, right? Wow, it's amazing. You got it right off the bat. I think it would be obvious for anyone looking at it. The Chinatown in Yokohama is said to be Japan's biggest alongside the ones in Nagasaki and Kobe. It does seem pretty big for a Chinatown, right? Originally this area was a settlement for Europeans who came to trade here, they say. I see, so how did it end up as a Chinatown? Hey, you've been listening. Because when Japan opened her doors, there weren't many people who uh, spoke foreign languages. So the Europeans would, would bring Chinese people with them since they could communicate with the Japanese in writing. They say the area where those Chinese people that became the basis for this Chinatown, but back in those days, the Europeans still outnumbered the Chinese in the area. Wow. All that changed in 19... 1920? 1923, I think? There was a terrifying earthquake called the Great Kanto Earthquake. Over 140,000 people died. It's called the greatest disaster in Japanese history. 140,000? Must have been a lot of damage. There was. The damage was so bad, people were even thinking of moving the capital to somewhere else. If that happened, Tokyo would have become the city it is today. Anyway, the Great Kanto Earthquake caused a lot of foreigners in the area to move back to their home countries. And the ones who inherited it were the Chinese. In the years that followed, the, re the region developed into a big Chinatown we see today. I see. Yeah. Hey, do you know Sanban? Sanban? I think you call him Su Sun Yatsen in English. Oh, Sun Yat-sen. We studied him in my English class. He was a Chinese revolutionary, right? Yes, a revolutionary. They say that after he was exiled, he spent some time here in the town and continued his revolutionary work. Wow, I didn't know that! I didn't know anything here in this game that's been taught. Anyway, one of, this, one of the highlights of Yokohama Chinatown is the Kante Byu. Kante? Yeah, it's a Byu... Uh, Byu? Byu? Venerating one of uh, China's most famous military generals. Biu? A Biu is where you worship ancestors or other great people. I think you call it a mausoleum in English. Oh, you mean a mausoleum. I don't even know what that is. So Kante was the name of a really strong general who lived in China around 200 AD. He had really long... He had a really long... <laughs> he had really long beard. And he's renowned... Uh, for a sense of duty, not just in China, but Japan as well. Have you ever read the Sangu Sangokushi? I think it's translated in English under the titles Romance of the Three Kingdoms. I wonder why she's trying to uh, speak in all this English. It's because of the jealousy? I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I never read it, but I know of it. They use a lot of... They use it a lot as a motif in anime, right? Right. The general Kanu that you see in those anime is the Kante ven venerated venerated right <laughs> venerated here right but my image of Ken Kenu is totally as a girl that tells me a lot about your view anime viewing habits <laughs> you're watching a different kind of anime man <clears throat> 
by the way, the building uh, only dates back to the 40s, but the site itself is over 150 years old. In other words, Kanu-san has been protecting this area for over, for 150 years. So he's like a protective spirit. That's right. As long as we're here, would you like to pay tribute? Sure, right. I love this. This area really feels like a total Chinatown. So many Chinese restaurants. See? All and and all the these odd little shops up and down the street. I see. Hey, look at that one. It's full of cute little trinkets. It is. I've never seen anything like these. It's amazing. Isn't it? That's what I said. But there are re there are really lots of Chinatowns all over the world. There are, re there are reasonable China restaurants even in my town. I mean, it's not that I hate Chinatowns or I'm bored of anything. It's just... I'm just... I'm really worried about Akira. I'm grateful to her for, for explaining so much to me. But she really does seem less energetic than usual. She's not smiling or getting mad at me the way she usually does. I really feel like she's forcing it. Uh, hey, what's that? The delicious smell went wafting through the air. Want to eat Akira? It'll be my treat. Akira? Is she asleep? Hey, Akira! Huh? Don't say huh. Did you hear what I said? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I heard it. Um, where was I? You were talking about the shops in Chinatown. Ah, right, yeah. I was talking about the number of shops. Um, yeah, I know all about that. <laughs> um, I think... Akira is definitely... That's it! There are over 600 stores in Chinatown. Almost 250 of those are Chinese restaurants. There's so many, I bet it's hard to decide which one to pick. Ah, speaking of food, I think I'm getting a little hungry. Hey, it's about that time. Let's get something to... Akira. What? You're not hungry at all? No, it's just that... Just... Maybe it's time to went home? Huh? What? You're not having fun? Oh, I don't, I don't like these moments. <laughs> no, that's not it. It's, it's not that at all. It's just... Just what? I really think you're under the weather today, Akira. I think it's best if we just get home. Right? There's no point in pushing yourself so much you, so much you get sick. You said I'm fine. Huh? I told you I'm just fine. But... Don't butt me. If I said I'm fine, I'm fine. Akira... By the same token, if you're bored, just say you're bored. If so, I'll... I I'm not! That's not it. That's not it. Sort of. Can I really say that I would have... I would have preferred... That I wouldn't have preferred that we go somewhere else, at least a little. Maybe what I'm thinking is, if we'd gone somewhere else, I could have seen more of Akira's expressions. I. Yeah, you didn't say anything. That means you're bored. No, that's that's not it. That's not it at all. Just, just. Da lots of dots. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. I get it. Huh? Get what? You want to go home? Then fine, go home. No, I didn't say I want to go home. Yeah, then like you said, I'm not feeling well, so I'll go home. Is that what you want? It's not like that at all. And once I'm gone, you can go wherever you want. I'll just... I'll go home just like you want, so... Wherever I want? By myself? Well, you think I'm boring, don't you? Then I'll stop wasting your time. It's your last day, and you want to go somewhere more fun, don't you? So I'm going. No, Akira! Hmm... Dot, 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 dot. Wait! Wait, Akira! Hey, Akira! Oh. Dot, 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 dot. <sighs> we done goofed, man. We done goofed, guys. Akira's gone. I ended up chasing after Akira, and we really ended up going home. No matter how I tried to talk to her on the train, she wouldn't respond. I guess losing her temper like this is more proof that she's not feeling well. Anyway, I'll let her take it easy today. Akira? Why did you come with me? Well, you can't just go sightseeing while you go home alone. That's why I told you I was fine. Even so. Hey, come on, where are you going? The house is that way. Supermarket. I forgot to get one of the ingredients for tonight. This is so dramatic. All this dramatic music. I told you not to worry about that. We'll get dinner somewhere. Like at that Kobini over there. See? So don't worry about it and just... I'll stop talking. <laughs> Akira? Okay, I got it. If you want a Kobini for your last day, you can go buy it yourself. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Akira! 
<sighs> Kira, she's so fast, I have to catch her. <sighs> Too much running. She got away from me. Kira, she ran into her room and won't come out. They say something to offend her? I was just worried about her. Looks like Makoto... Makoto... <laughs> Makoto's gone off somewhere too. The house is so quiet like this. It's never like... It's never been like this before. Akira. It's my last day in Japan. Why did it have to turn out like this? Why? Oh no. It's almost night time. Sunset. Tadaima! I'm Makoto. Hm? You're back already? That was fast. Uh, um, well... Hm, speaking of which, where's Akira? In her room? Yeah... What's wrong? Did something happen? Um... Ah, did you try to make a pass at her or something? No way, I would never do that. I'm kidding. No matter how shameless you are, you never do something like that. <sighs> so, did something happen? Well, sort of, but sort of not. Hmm, when you put it that way, I bet it was... Was what? Makoto? I can't do it. It's not my place to explain it. You'll just have to figure it out. That's cruel. Anyway, if Akira won't come out, we'll just... We'll have to figure out something for dinner. It's my la It's your last night here, so maybe I ought to whip up, whip up something myself. Huh? Whip up something? Makoto's gonna cook? And not Akira, the one that's actually good at cooking? Let's see, what's in the fridge? <laughs> Wait, Makoto! <laughs> Everyone stop her, this is gonna turn into another disaster. I don't wanna pass out like last time. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong? Look, in the fridge, it's packed with ingredients. Oh, ah, oh, you're right. Why is there so much in here? Dot, 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 dot. Why are you dot-dotting me? Dot, 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 dot. You don't know? Huh? I think I know. If you know, then what is it? <sighs> you're hopeless. Let me give you a hint. Hint? Have a look. In the entrance. Entrance? Is there something in the entrance? We said entrance like three times now. Just go and look. Okay. Just go and look. What could it be? Hmm? Is this Akira's bag? She was carrying it. There's a book peeking out. This is... Makoto, this is... Do you know what, is, what that is? This is a Yokohama guidebook. Did you look inside? I, I saw... Yes, so that's the entirety of my hint. As for the answer... Well, it looks like we've gotten it. Yeah. The Yokohama guidebook Kira was carrying. All the best sightseeing routes, all the most popular sightseeing spots, and all kinds of information about them. She had checked them all in such detail. I imagine that was the first time she's been to Yokohama. The first time? So she must have checked it all out in detail. She probably stayed up all night. So... So it's not that, that she wasn't feeling well. And after all that, I... I... Page after page, there's notes handwritten all over them. Was this all so she could give me a tour? Oh. I told you not to worry about it. It means all my hard work wasn't in vain. It's strange. We should be able to see Yokohama Harbor. But in 18... um Yeah, 1863. I remember all these. I changed it, yeah. Then that was all because... In here and there, she translated the harder words into English. Even though she's so bad at English. Yeah, Yamate Buhara. Buraha. Sinyatsen. My character's a jerk! Uh. Akira. She really is an awkward one, that girl. But she really tried so hard to prepare and wrote down all the English she's so bad at. Then all the ingredients in the fridge are probably the same reason. She didn't want you worrying about her today. She wanted you to think highly of her. You think highly of her. That's why she worked so hard. And after all that, I just... I just... 
Akira! Akira. You can stay in there. Just hear me out. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know how much you've been preparing for today. I didn't think about it. Now I know how hard you worked for me. And after all that, I just ruined it. It's like I trampled on all your efforts. Akira, I guess she won't come out. Listen, Akira. Maybe it's too late now. But I just want to say one thing. I'm sorry about today. And thank you. Aww. Is that it? Dot, dot, dot. She won't come out of her room. She won't even talk to me. I guess I must have really hurt her really bad. On my last night here. If I realized her feelings, even just a little bit. Maybe, maybe I could have gotten a better night. My last day here. And then... Maybe I could have told Akira how I feel about her. How I feel. Yes. I think I... <laughs> I'm sorry. But there's no way I can do that now. Maybe tomorrow. I hope she'll talk with me at least a little bit tomorrow. If she does, then... Dot, 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 dot. Oh, there's no transition name? Oh yeah, that was the last night. I guess, I guess we'll continue on this episode. I guess she isn't coming out. Yeah. I'm sure she knew you... She... I'm sure she knew when you'd be heading out, but... I guess she just w wants to be stubborn. I really am sorry. I'll try to call her one more time. Don't. Huh? Don't bother. It's time. We have to go. But... I really would have liked to see her one last time. To hear her voice, but... Let's go, Makoto. At least say goodbye to her. I left a letter in the front of her door. As long as she reads that, it should be okay. A letter? Yeah. All my feelings, all my thoughts are in that letter. As long as she understands how I feel, I... Are you sure? Yeah. I see, I understand. It was just a week. And I don't like leaving it behind like this, but... This house. And Akira... Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh and off on a sad note. Thanks for coming to see me off. It was nothing. I hope you'll see us again sometime. Sure. And you co and you should visit my town sometime. Sure, I'll definitely try. Come to come to Toronto. It was great. <laughs> anyway, bye. Yes, bye. <sighs> I guess that's it. Well, farewell. Farewell, Japan. And wait. <gasps> Blue text. It's Akira! Woo! Pant, pant. Oh, wait. <laughs> Akira. Thank goodness I made it in time. Akira, you came. <laughs> My nose is itchy. Akira? Uh, um. Um, hey. Y yeah? Mm. I am very sorry to make you be displeased yesterday. Huh? But I was so sad be, be, because I really wanted to please you. Akira, it made to be very so fish you but but if if you forgive me behavior I did do yesterday <laughs> the next time guide me you are can you what guide me you are can you Oh, I must go this summer day. Oh, okay. So please wait, wait me till the day. Huh? <gasps> she died! Kiss! Kiss her! We got a kiss from Akira! Yay! <laughs> My virtual dream! See you again. Promise me. 
Oh my gosh. We got Kisaru. We got a Kisaru from Akira Ru. All the dots. Ah! Oh no, I got caught up in the moment. But that. That meant what I did. What I thought I did, didn't it? That's it, the paper bag. Akira, Akira gave it to me just as we parted. I wonder what's in it. A doll? And a letter. I made you a doll. It looks like you, doesn't it? It, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show it on screen though. But it's there. <laughs> I'll be waiting breathlessly for the day we meet again. This is the seal of our promise. With love, Akira. Akira. Oh, this is great. Waiting breathlessly for the day we meet again, eh? If we're going to meet again someday, if she's going to promise that, I'll have to show her around my country. So then, I'll be studying Japanese every day so I can communicate with my feelings with, to her without misunderstanding. Until the day I see her again. For that day. Is that it? <laughs> yeah! We beat the game! It's over! Oh, it's such a bittersweet ending. This was really fun. I like this. Oh, this was fantastic. So, this is the finale. And it's the final episode, so that means. I hope you all enjoyed this Let's Play. I absolutely enjoyed it. If you enjoy- oh, hello. <laughs> if you enjoyed my bad pronunciation of Japanese and all the places we went to, then I- then I hope you did. <laughs> I don't really know what to say at this point other than I'm sorry about not uploading this as regularly as possible. I mean, with all the schoolwork and stuff, it's really- it's been really hard to keep- uh, to make time for this. but. You know, when you look at games like this, you don't really think that they're going to be a, a fun experience. And for some, that may be the case. But I really like visual novels like these. With And even though this one didn't really have a good uh, story to it, and like the dialogue was a bit off at points, it was, it was, the drawings were really well done. And the amount of time this went, that that was put into this dialogue, it I I I absolutely enjoyed it. I I really want to play something like this again. Um, but is that it? Is that? Oh, what? Whew! I finally made it. Let's see. Next thing I need to do what? Oh, we're back. That's right. I need to buy a Suica, then the express ticket. Then I need to get on the train. After I take the Narito Express, um, I do this, and then that. Right, it's perfect. It's been a whole year. She swore she'd come visit me in my country and told me to wait for her. Akira had promised she would come, but it never seemed to happen. I'm sure she completely intended to come, but she was still in school. She didn't understand how hard it was to raise your own money, take time off, and go overseas by herself. I really did want to keep my promise to her, but more than wanting feel a promise, more than wanting to keep a promise, <laughs> wanting to see her again, was my overriding feeling. Ah, override, override, you clever people. And so I came back to Japan. Naturally, I kept it a secret from her. Let's see, I think this is where I changed trains. What? What's that sound? It's been in every, like, <laughs> like, train scene we've been in. Then there's Akira. What if she's mad at me for not waiting for her? But still. It's been a whole year. It hasn't changed at all. There's still the upside down McDonald's logo. That's so beautiful. Oh. Oh, no way. Huh? Aww. She's so cute. She's still wearing the same sweater. <laughs> Akira. Oh, I can't believe we bumped into each other like this. Why are you here? Um, well, I just really wanted to see you. Um. Oh, you. Ah. Uh, I told you to wait, you jerk. <laughs> What is it? What's so funny? You just... you reacted just the way I thought you would. Akira? There's so much I want to say, but I won't try right now. I just... just what? I want to enjoy my happiness from seeing you again. Akira, I still have no eyes. I don't know <laughs> why, but I guess that's... visual novel necessary. I don't know. Welcome home. Yay! <laughs> We got happy times with Akira. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man. Oh, that's it. Oh, wait, there's an extra. That's a site in the CG gallery. Ooh, hello. Oh, we still got some more to unlock. We can play the whole game again. Ah, oh, we can play the whole game again. We're not gonna play the whole game again. Let's scene replay. Oh, okay. Okay. So this is all just stuff that the, you can see. The sightseeing album with all the pictures of Akihabara and all that and places you went to. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, I really liked this visual novel. It's, it's game. I really like this game a lot. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this too. And if you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see more games like this, or something completely different, let me know in the comments. I'm going to read them all if anyone ever comments. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you like it, click that like button down below. Also, share it with a friend on Facebook and Twitter. You can make them laugh too. And as always, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss another one of these videos. Until then, fight the beast, my friends. I'll see you all next time. Listen up, man. Kyoto, let's be a uh, no face I'd rather be. I can't rap for my life if it's not. I don't really much care for it. Wait, wait, is this... Well, which do you want? You have to choose. Actually, why don't you choose for, for us too? Choose for me? Ch choose for you? Me? The reason why it's an upside down instead of it being McDonald's, it's actually McDonald's.